Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So now we are going to solve question number two. Fill a special grid of weekly contest 448. So let's read the problem statement first. You are given a known negative integer n representing a 2 power n into 2 power n grid. Right? So here n is equal to 0. That simply means 2 power 0 into 2 power 0. That is nothing but 1 into 1 grid. Okay? So there is only just one cell. Right? Okay? In this case. Same way here if you see n is equal to 1. That simply means 2 power 1 into 2 power 1. That means you have grid like this 2 into 2. Okay. So something like this. Okay. 2 is the number of rows and 2 is the number of columns. Okay. So here 0, 1 indexing, 0, 1 indexing. Right. So this is nothing but 2 into 2 grid. Okay. And this is nothing but 1 into 1 grid. Right. And same way this uh, n is equal to 2. So n is equal to 2 means 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. So 4 into 4 grid. Right. 4 into 4 so you see this is nothing but 4 into 4 grid 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 and 3 okay so i hope that this is clear okay you must fill the grid with integers from 0 to 2 power 2 power 2 and minus 1 okay so here in this case 2 and here 2 into n and value is 0 minus 1 we are doing so 2 uh, here 1 minus 1 so only with from 0 to 0 only we have to fill okay so here if i just fill 0 only 0 is the option right so this is going to my output right done so here in this case uh, 2 into 2 power n minus 1 so n is nothing but 1 here 2 power 2 minus 1 that is nothing but 3 okay so that simply means from 0 to 3 i have to fill the values right 0 to 3 okay and same way here if i apply the same thing 2 2 power n minus 1 and here 2 into 2 n is 2 uh, minus 1 here 2 power 4 minus 1 uh, that simply means 15 so 0 to 15 i have to fill the values 0 to 15 okay so see here 0 to 15 only you values, uh, values are there right from 0 to 15 okay so this is clear right Okay, to make it a special. A grid is a special if it satisfies all the following conditions. Okay, all the numbers in the top right quadrant are smaller than those in the bottom right quadrant. Okay, all the numbers in top right quadrant. Okay, all the numbers in the top right quadrant. They should be smaller than the numbers in the bottom right quadrant okay all the numbers in bottom right quadrant are smaller than the those in the bottom left quadrant okay numbers in the bottom left quadrant okay and all the numbers in the bottom left quadrant are smaller than the those in the top left quadrant okay numbers in the top left quadrant okay each of its quadrants is also a special grid okay each of its quadrant is also a special grid okay so here see this is simply means that this should also be a special uh, grid okay if this complete is a special grid then this one should also be a special grid okay so here all the numbers these condition must be satisfied and each of it its quadrants is also a special grid then we have to return the special 2 into n and here 2 power n okay 2 power n into 2 power n grid and any 1 into 1 grid is also special okay so that is why we are returning this here okay so now based on this condition if i just draw this 2 into 2 okay so uh, here in this i can fill numbers from 0 to 3 right 0 to 3 right so here uh, see this same example n is equal to 1 so here 0 to 3 okay so number in top right quadrant this should be the greatest one top right quadrant okay no no this should be the minimum one top right quadrant okay see this is the arrow right number in top right quadrant it should be less than the it should be smaller in this complete condition this number is the smaller okay so let's fill zero here in top right quadrant top right quadrant so here i'm filling zero here okay then bottom right quadrant so fill one here then bottom left quadrant okay bottom left quadrant fill two here then this is the greatest number top left quadrant okay top left quadrant so fill three here so see 
this is my output here so see what i'm returning i'm returning three zero okay three zero and then i'm returning two one okay this is done okay so this is the first thing that we need to do easy right now here this is for n is equal to one now you will notice one pattern here n is equal to two right so here also if you uh, draw this so here you see same number zero one two and three okay zero one two three okay this is the first thing that you feel here right so this is special okay and in this complete also if you see this is also special right so now here here if you see if you able to find if you are able to find this okay then here this is what you have right here uh, 0 1 and 2 okay and 3 now in this half okay if you add just 4 4 to all these numbers like here it's 0 so 0 plus 4 is 4 1 plus 4 is 5 2 plus 4 is 6 uh, 3 plus 4 is 7 okay so you are able to fill this 7 4 6 5 okay now if i want to fill uh, this side after that okay so in this case also first we fill this then we fill this then we fill this then we fill this okay so in this case also first we fill this then we fill this then we are going to fill this okay so again same thing so now here in this three okay this time uh from here to here we are adding four right now use this only but add eight now okay right so after that here zero plus eight so eight one plus eight is nine two plus eight is ten and here three plus eight is uh, eleven okay done then after that we are going to fill this okay right and here same way now here is here you add 12 okay so until here uh, we are done with the right we have we filled 8 right now until here we fill 12 now uh, from there we have to start okay so starting from 0 right so 0 plus 12 12 1 plus 12 13 2 plus 12 14 3 plus 12 15 that's it okay this is what you are going to do here 15 12 3 0 first we are returning then here 14 3, 13 2 1 14 32 1 then here see 11 8 7 4 11 8 7 4 then 10 9 6 5 okay that's it so this is bigger one right we have to break it in a smaller part okay so first we are to fill this first portion okay if we are able to fill this portion then we have to apply some logic so that we can fill this okay so now let's discuss what is the logic that we are going to use to fill all this okay so this is my code right so let's take this same example n is equal to 2 right so here n is equal to 2 so right now your size is going to be uh, 2 power 2 that is nothing but 4 okay 4 is the size of this right 4 into 4 right so 4 is the size right so here uh, you can also calculate the size as uh, take 1 okay so how you write 1 in binary form like this so now left, if you left shift it with uh, 2 bits so you are going to like, write uh, like this okay 0 0 uh, 0 1 0 0 okay so now this is nothing but 4 okay so this is also how you can calculate the size instead of 2 power n okay so now you are going to use this helper method okay so you are going to build the grid of size 4 comma 0 okay so here let me write it like this okay so build a grid okay and here of size 4 comma 0 right so now here right now if you go inside this helper method build grid okay size you are passing is 4 and start is 0 right so here right now size is equal to 1 no all right so now what you are going to do you are going to calculate the half okay so for this uh, half is nothing but 2 and the square size okay ss i am writing is nothing but 2 into 2 4 okay done then you are going to recursively build the smaller quadrant grid okay first so again you are going to call this build grid okay so here i am writing nothing but build grid okay build grid and now inside this what i am passing i am passing the half as uh this is the half value 2 okay so 2 into uh, 2 comma 0 okay so 2 uh 2 into 2 i am talking about 2 into 2 now here i was talking about 4 into 4 here i am talking about 2 into 2 okay so right now if you again reach here so size equal to 1 no so you are, we are not going to execute so again write the half okay so half is nothing but it's going to become 1 and square size it is going to become 1 into 1 uh, 1 only right again you are going to call this build grid okay you are again going to recursively call the smaller quadrant grid okay so here again I'm, you are writing what you are writing this builder 
builder grid and right now you are going to pass half as well value as one and here to zero okay so right now size is one okay so you are going to get zero in the start okay so this is going to return zero right so now you are going to solve this part okay so this is going to return zero okay this small part now you are going to solve build grid two comma zero okay so now see here okay so step one uh here special grid two okay so first we call build, build grid four comma zero right so this will build a four into four right this start from zero size is four half is equal to two square size is four okay then we build grid two comma zero okay so here size becomes two half becomes one and square size equal to one since size is equal to one uh we are going to uh, return one into one grid with the start equal to zero okay so this is nothing but my base okay base is equal to build grid one zero so it is going to return zero okay so this is done okay so this is just for one into one okay one into one so for this one into one okay this is going to be my base and i know the value zero here now using this i have to fill right using this i have to fill one here i have to fill two here i have to fill three here using this okay so now let's see how we are doing that okay so here now for build grid two comma zero the base grid is zero we need to expand it to two into two okay so now two into two we have to form okay one into one we already know output is zero okay this all right so here this is my base okay base in which build grid i was passing size as one and zero so it is going to turn zero okay so now here base grid grid two comma zero okay so here first we are going to initialize this grid okay we need to expand it to a two into two grid okay so new into two into two okay so here i am writing allocate full grid for this okay two into two right now okay so this so now top right quadrant how we are filling so grid zero one okay first we have to fill all this one grid one one then we have to fill grid one zero then grid zero zero okay so if you see first we have to fill this okay this we already know actually so after that we are going to fill this b after that we have to fill this c then after that we have to fill d okay so grid zero one so that is nothing but base zero zero value okay so base zero zero in the starting is zero only okay then bottom right quadrant we have to fill so what we are going to do here base value okay this value in this value we have to just add one okay so here see base zero zero plus square size okay so right now square size here if you see in this build grid two comma zero square size was one okay so here zero plus one so one here one into two two okay so here see uh square size is one right square size is always one right so here bottom left quadrant square size into two so one into two two okay so you are going to fill two here then you are going to fill three here okay so your two into two grid is going to look like this after that three zero two one okay so see here three zero and two one okay this is how your uh, this grid is going to look like okay so now we are going to treat this as our base okay so we return two into two grid for this now we have to solve two zero okay so from here we have solved two zero now we have to solve four zero right so what we are doing here constructing the four into four grid now we need to return the original call okay this one the base grid is this we will use this to fill the four into four grid okay so now fill the four quadrants of the four into four grid with the necessary offsets right so top right quadrant zero okay so here uh see now you are filling but you are filling grid of size four into four okay so here initially this is zero and this half half value is nothing but uh two okay so zero two right so all this stuff you have to do here okay so grid zero two so grid zero two you are filling with but base zero zero okay base zero zero so base zero zero values three okay done then after that you have to fill this value okay so grid zero three base zero one zero two one okay this you already know then the bottom right quadrant okay so you have to add the square size as four okay square size as four right now okay so this is done so this is how you are filling all the value seven four six five then bottom left quadrant square size into two you have to do right now this time okay so this was uh here like this now uh, here if you see this this is zero one two and three this is how we are filling right so here uh now square size is uh four okay square size is four okay so zero into four that's why here we are just adding zero okay because we are multiplying everything zero here one into four here two into four here three into four we have to do okay so here two into four is eight for bottom left and top left we have to use a square size into three 
12 okay so this is how we have to fill okay so this is a complete uh, dry run of this right so just go over this step and this is a code code is very easy okay just you have to divide this problem into sub problems and then you will be able to solve it okay so this that's what we are doing okay half square size then base then allocate full grid then this is the, for filling the four quadrants with offsets okay and then in the end we have to return grid so i hope that you guys are able to understand this problem and uh, if you guys still have any doubts then please feel free to ask in comment section till then keep coding and keep practicing with you guys in the next video thank you bye bye